Uh, today is Thursday, the uh, 14th of May. It is day 52 of shelter in place for me here in Michigan. And I have an exciting announcement to share, something I'm really excited about that's coming in my lives. I've been doing these lives every day for 52 days. And that's a record for me. And I've just really started to enjoy it too because I'm getting used to doing this every day. And I love talking with you. And I love being here to tell you how much you matter and that you are loved and that I love you and I care about you and what's going on in your life. Not just during shelter in place when I started these videos, but all the time because that's why I am an author, speaker, and a coach. And Danielle Burnock at DanielleBurnock.com if you've not seen me before. And I write about love yourself from survive to thrive. And my great exciting thing I want to share with you today is what I'm going to be doing here on these lives over the next few days or a couple weeks maybe, depending on how that all works out. Um, two things, two things I'm gonna do. One is I have a friend who is launching her book, not just one book, but uh, she's actually on a book and a journal and children's book and I don't even know what they all are, but I'm gonna be having her on here with me live to share with you her book that she is launching June 1st. And why would you care about that? Because she has been through some really hard things. She lost her daughter uh, to a really weird, bizarre disease. And uh, losing a kid is um, inconceivable. And she's gonna share her journey. I met her last fall at the Igniting Souls Conference. Uh, it was funny because I was in Ohio and when I was getting ready to leave and I went to the front desk to tell them something and uh, that's when I bumped into her and she's from Michigan too. So she's local here with me also. And so I get to interview her and share with you uh, about her journey of going through grief and, and how to not just survive, but get to a place of thriving, dealing with grief, because grief can be so devastating, absolutely devastating. And so she is gonna be here with me, and she's got a thing about thumbs up, you'll learn about thumbs up from her. And her name is Mary Welsh, and I hope to have her on here Monday or Tuesday. She's waiting to get her first copy of her book so she can show you. And that's the first exciting thing, and I may get some more people like that to share with you here because I want to share things that are going to help you in your life, not just me, because I have things to offer, but there are so many people who have things to offer and we help each other when we give what we have and what we, when we sell what we have because we have things of value and not everything is free. We pay for things of value. It's like you go to the grocery store, you don't just go in there and pick up stuff and leave. You have to pay for it because things have value. And so not everything I offer is free. Not everything anyone offers is free because things have value. And the second thing I want to share with you is starting tomorrow, I'm going to be reading little bits from my book, this book, this book, uh, so you get a taste of what it's about. And tomorrow I'm going to read the Note to Reader and Chapter 1. So you can just get a little bit of a taste of it. But then, starting next week, I'm going to have some of the other people that are in this book on Facebook Live with me. And we're going to read their story. I'll read my part of the story. They'll read their part of the story. We'll talk a little bit and you'll get to have another little taste of this book. There's 10 people that I interviewed to be in here and I've heard back from six of them so far. Five of them have said yes. One unfortunately is not able. Too much on their plate right now, I get that. It's not everybody sitting at home. Some people are really super busy and other people, you need us to encourage you. And I am here to encourage you, to help you, and to let you learn how to take ownership of your life. Because whether it's this pandemic that's been attacking you in your heart and your mind, or it's your childhood that has come up, that is constantly tripping you up and keeping you from moving forward in your life. But you can do more than survive. You can thrive. 
you can thrive. It takes changing how you think. It takes working through some hard things, but you can, and it's so worth it. It's so worth it. And so I wanted to share that with you today, and I'll be here tomorrow, and I'll make an announcement on my author page what time I will be live tomorrow reading for you. So keep your eyes peeled for that, and I'll be reading on Facebook Live, but then I will be uploading this to my Instagram and to my YouTube channel and on Pinterest, and I share it on Twitter. And so you can find me all over the place because I am that lady on the internet who says, I love you. And so till tomorrow, I love you.